the next step, if we enter play mode, is that Penny Pixel falls through the platform, right? Because there's no collision. So we need to add some collision to our platforms. And luckily this is made very easy using a new component, which is under tile map, tile map collider 2D. So I'm gonna add this component to the platforms game object, right? That has the tile map on it. I'm gonna add a tile map collider 2D and we can see, ta-da, let's turn off the background for a second so we can see it really well. We can see that these Colliders have been added to each of the stamped platforms, right? Now, what we can see, if we, if we want to test this, we can. Penny can run around, right? She can fall off. She can bump into the sides. It all works. Uh, but there's a little bit of inefficiency going on here, right? Because we have colliders in these center black tiles that we really don't need, right? Nothing is ever going to collide with the middle of that tile unless we had some kind of destructive you know, level destroying going on, which in this case we don't. So we, we don't need those, right? So we can optimize this a little bit using another new collider type, which is under, I'm going to click add component, physics 2D, composite collider 2D. And this is really, really cool uh, new feature. And so the first thing we need to do is set the body type of the rigid body to static. These are not going to move, right? It auto adds a rigid body and we don't want these to fall into space. So we're going to set the body type to static. And now we have this composite collider and all we need to do on our tile map collider is click used by composite. And as we can see, magically now, instead of having a collider for every square on the grid, we now have a collider that only maps to the outline of our objects, right? And we can see it's actually even using the shape of the sprite mesh here where we have these uh, little beveled corners and stuff. Really, really cool. Now, another cool and interesting thing about this is that this, the generation type for this by default is synchronous. So let's say I enter play mode unmaximize on play and unpause. And then I take my eraser tool and let's just get a single tile. And I take my eraser tool, I said, and I erase these and then whoop, run down there. Well, now the collider has regenerated because the composite collider is generating the collider synchronously. So you could do some really interesting uh, dynamic collider stuff with that. And if you want some more info on the composite collider, you can check out my designing with 2D tools live training session, uh, which we made a little kind of side on weird knights shooting kind of defend the castle game. Um, and we use the composite collider and I spent a bunch of time talking about it. So if you're curious about that, check that out. And so now we have colliders for our platforms they're fairly optimized um, and we're ready to move on to our next step, which is going to be to add Cinemachine and get some good camera behavior going. And let's look at the chat. Can you rotate the tile in the palette window? Oh, thank you, Fallerino. Yes, says Fallerino says, yes, you can. You need to press edit first in the tile palette. Yeah, that's something I haven't touched on. So you can, you can do the same editing. You can do most of the same editing operations that you can do in the scene view in the tile palette. Yeah, that's actually a good question.